for some reason I I pause my recording so I have to go through the surface FX once again. Um, so instead of going through all of those layers, I'm going to, to let you um, see me messing around in the full process. And um, it's just, you know, a matter of uh, playing with textures. So I'm going to go quickly through what all of those groups are doing. Uh, so first, what I did was to closely look at uh, some of those paintings. And those two ones, I found them uh, on the internet in a super high resolution, like 11,000 pixel wide. So they were really great to, to study the surface detail. So I, I tried to decide the different kind of uh, damage that you could find. And uh, there is cracks. This is uh, these are the more the more abused. Sorry for that. Okay, cracks. And the, there is a C also those kind of uh, you know scratches. They seem to change the quality of the painting from from um, glossy to matte. Uh, there is those um, tiny, tiny bit of dust. No canva damages. So from here, I've started to <coughs> try to reproduce this on the painting. And um, I've been playing, you'll see there is all of those layers you can go through. Uh, but I've been, I've tried to separate all of this in, in separate folders, which are uh, some, some canvas textures, but I don't mean the texture of the fabric of the canvas, but more of uh, the surface itself, because maybe it's been folded on itself at some points uh, during transportations. So this is what I try to to emulate in here. Okay. <clears throat> then I have the folder with the damages in, in it. Maybe on here, these are like uh, um, dust and um, mostly dust and, and, uh, and, and crap on top of the painting. And uh, then there is the cracks. And the cracks are, are very, very easy to do. And I, I've, I've, I've uh, created those textures. Uh, one is by hand using a pattern uh, adjustment layer. You'll see me do that in the full process. And the other is using uh, the amazing uh, filter forge. Uh, procedural filter, and I found a nice uh, crack um, filter on the internet on their library. Because once you subscribe to the or you buy the library, the, the license, you can either subscribe uh, for three months or buy the, the license, and you have access to a huge library of filters that you can download for free. So you, you don't have so much to create filter by yourself. Pretty much anything you, you can think of is, is already in there. So these are the cracks. <coughs> and those filters, those layers here are just about adding just a few variations. This is a second layer of a, of a rough Canva texture. Here it is, and some dust and scratches, dust and scratches, and uh, those dust and scratches are, are more visible. From what I saw, I decided to put them mainly in the dark areas. Uh, 
because in other areas I didn't want it to have too much noise there. So I'm just going to quickly do one of those just uh, for you to see how, how I'm doing that very quickly to, to add this uh, kind of, um, of 3D look to those uh, to those textures and it 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 would work for for any texture you want you want to have a, a directive light on it it's it's quite easy you just uh, create layer for example let's let's create a, a canvas texture real quick so i'm going to fill in fill that layer with white go into filter um render fibers okay Randomize if you want. Okay. Fill that layer. Now this is too too dense. I want to have wider wider fibers. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to duplicate that. Okay, just turn it around. Put it on multiply, merge, and here I, I have a nice canva texture, like a cotton canva. Control A, Control C, delete that layer, create a solid color layer, which is um, uh, less expensive on your on memory. Control V to pass the texture in, in the in the layer mask. So here we have it. Now I'm going to lower the fill so we don't see the actual uh, pixel informations in it and open the layer property. Add a bevel filter with the correct uh, light direction. Okay, it's on chisel hard, that's the last layer that I use. You can play with the depth, with the size, and here you have your Canva texture with 2D direction and you can at any time, if you decide to keep it like that, you can uh, at any time come back. And uh, if you had all of your layers with the bevel and both filters um, in a non-destructive manner, you can just at some point just change your global light direction and it's going to change the global light direction of all of your layers, which is really, really cool. And when you're happy with uh, your texture and you don't want to uh, be too hard on your uh, computer, you can just right click and um, rasterize layer style. And uh, now you're going to have all of those informations thanks to the solid color. You'll have all this baked into one layer. And now it's a moment where you can just put a layer mask and just start to paint that layer mask to, to reveal that texture whenever you, you want to have it. So here we are. Um, I think this image is not completely finished. As I mentioned, I think there is too much noise in here. Um, there is some tangent I want to resolve, maybe here, this one. With that, that line and this line, they, they make a tangent. I want to get rid of that. Maybe here, it's not very clear where uh, that line, where it belongs. I think I'll have to, to tweak the values of the underlying, uh, uh, of the underneath uh, cushion. Well, I'm sure there is a ton of things I, that I could do to improve this painting, but at that point, I'm, I'm just going with you later on to make a quick review of this image and uh, do a few tweaks and, uh, and call it done. So um, thanks, and uh, see you in the next chapter.